After returning home, Roy suddenly received a phone call from his hometown. His father was seriously ill and asked him to come home. This made Roy very sad. It wasn't just because of his father's health. He told Lisa his father had had an accidental stroke and was paralyzed in bed. He would need his own care for the rest of his life. So this time, he might not be coming back. His dream of making movies would have to end here. And he couldn't help Lisa find Jack anymore. That night, Roy stayed up late to finish editing the film. He wanted to give it to Lisa as a gift. At least they would have something to think about back in the future. Lisa didn't want Roy to go home. But she had done everything she could. She couldn't find Jack, so she had to go back to the future to look after her mother. She was just about to remix the Back to the Future potion, but the glass fell over the side. Lisa realized the glass was still in the air. Just then, a middle-aged man suddenly walked in. Lisa recognized him immediately. He was Mr. Jack her mother's first love. Only he seemed to be in his 50s. Jack explained. He was also a scientist. He had traveled back in time 38 years ago to do historical research in 1972. That's when he met his mother. They fell in love and spent two happy years together. But it was then that he realized his actions here were gradually changing history. The consequences of a time warp are unthinkable. There was no choice. He had to erase everyone's memories of himself and Lisa's mother. Of course. So when Lisa went to the school with the picture, mother would say she hadn't seen Jack. But decades later her mother inadvertently saw that photo again. Memories of Jack instantly flooded her mind. The side effects made her dizzy and unable to see the road, which indirectly led to her mother's car accident.